Hello, hello, this is Misty. This is Mystic, yes, we are about to get right up in it. So, today, yes, I come to you today in the energies of knowing. We would like to know what's going down in that person that you might have had a relationship with, but that person that's in your energy, yes. It's someone that wants to talk to you, but they in a whole relationship with somebody else. Where they do that at? Okay, we want to know. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today. We come to you in the energy of knowing. We would like to know why somebody want to talk to the collective, but they in a whole relationship with somebody else. Okay, so somebody is... In this Eight of Pentacles energy in reverse. And when one is in the Eight of Pentacles energy in reverse, there it goes in reputation is questioned. They done burnt their bridges with a whole lot of people. And people is now turning their backs on them because they just jump out there with no parachute in that food-like energy. Okay. So we have a Queen of Swords out here in reverse. And that's a woman. This might be an envious woman. This might be a jealous woman. This might be a woman that's a straight up SHIT starter. And this, this SHIT starter is very jealous. And she will betray you in your back. This one is materialistic. This one will stomp on anyone to get what she wants. What is the other energies? Holy Spirit. One is in a energy where they are in a energy where they are in a chariot reverse energy. And when one is in a chariot in reverse energy, all of their plans that they made to move forward have been scuffled. Everything that they move in that chariot is stopped because it's in reverse. So all of the plans that they made, it didn't go the way that they wanted them to in the chariot in reverse. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we would like to know. Why do this person that the collective was in an energy with still want to talk to them? If they're in a relationship, they shouldn't even be coming the collective's way. Oh, well, we're talking to someone that's in their energy of big ego. They want everyone to think that they are uh, fairy tales and rainbows over there in the comic community, but it is trash box and shit. So one is in the energy where love is pain. So they're over there getting hurt in the karmic community. Yes. There's a lot of finger pointing going on in the karmic community, honey. Yes. And one is in the energy where they're looking up their access social media. They want to spin the block. They want to spin the block because... The one that they left you for has addictions. They want to spend the block with you because the one that they left you for is now ghosting them like they ghosted you. They're finding out their dude boo is shady and they play games. Those games of manipulation they're not being nice to each other. They're saying to themselves, I fell for a child. They're always playing games. But the games that this person that they don't play, honey, is magic. They are Dollar Tree maker, designer clothes faker. A pill popper twerker, no job, this hoe don't work. Mm. Divine feminine, they want to put you in karmic mattress black blues. This one, this karmic, feels threatened by you, darling dear. This is why they over there doing the magic. You ain't even in the relationship. 
not a part of the energies that's going on over there in the karmic community. But because this this divine masculine is an opportunist, 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 and they let this karmic know that if they take, if you take them back, they will gladly go. Now this one want to start doing magic on you, just to let that one be known. And they have been looking you up, darling dear. They have been looking you up and they are very jealous, honey, that you are in this boss bitch energy. They are very jealous, honey, that you are in this too busy winning kind of energy. You, it, you, these people are extra triggered. They're triggered because you are a boss bitch. They're triggered because you are winning. You, this is too busy winning to worry about those people, but they're worrying about you and they're worried about your finances. This is what triggers these people. This is what triggers these people. But divine masculine, your ex put themselves in a situation that they're in because they have a fear of being alone. They met their worst nightmare. They're over there fighting. They're over there in energies where divine masculine is over there going crazy. What is this called? Oh, yeah, they going crazy. Let me tell you why they over there going crazy. Oh, I got to hide this call. They over there hiding this card. I mean, they were over there hiding this card. They over there going crazy because karmic is over there being a freak in the sheets and a hole in the floor to somebody else. This matches back. So divine masculine is all up in his feelings. Divine masculine wants to spin the block and they want to talk to you, baby, because they see luck is coming in your way. And because they see luck is coming your way and they want to be a part of it, Divine Masculine has started tapping in your energies. But I'm going to keep my mouth shut because that's supposed to be a secret. I'm going to keep my mouth shut that Divine Masculine is under illusion that he thinks that he can get you back. And Divine Feminine, I can't. I can't. Okay. And Divine Masculine. The feminine is saying, I know about all these third parties. This is the third party entanglements call. Yes, I know about you, all your third parties. Do you think I'm going to take you back? Remember, you listened to your fake friends and told you to start dealing with this comic anyway. So again, I don't want to hear anything that you have to say to me, Divine Masculine. I seen that fake mask come off. I'm moving on. Next. Thank you. Fuck you and fuck your sorries. This come in reverse. It wasn't a sorry when you broke my heart. This is the heartbroken call. It wasn't sorry when you physically abused me. It wasn't sorry when I had to go to therapy to get over the shit that you did to me. It wasn't sorry because I said I'm fed up. And I said when in doubt, when in doubt, I'm going to get the fuck out. And that's what I did. So now Divine Masculine is mad. He's mad at you for putting you. He's mad at you for him putting you in competition and you left. They mad. They mad. They are mad. And baby, be careful. Because this one is in a threatening behavior energy. They want to act like Ike. Because it was something that you put online, sweetheart. That triggered divine masculine. I don't know what that was. We could have been superstars. Driving around in fancy cars. But it's not safe for you. You switched up like a pussy little bitch. Yeah. You switched up like a little bitch. That's why you getting the donkey of the day. It's the same shit different day with you. Nothing changed with you divine masculine. Your, your judgment is still clouded. Because you in a relationship with somebody else, but you constantly trying to reach out to me. Sweetheart, you would never put me in the energy where I'm crying. 
You will never put me in the energy where I think you up there with somebody else. You will never put me in the energy of STDs and people calling my phone. You will never put me in the energy where I'm finding about your, your skeletons, your bras doing spells. They calling on my phone, putting me in confrontational energies, and you stealing my energy. And we ain't forgot about this impersonator, bitch. We ain't forget about this spiritual hater, bitch. But all of this happened because you put me in a third party situation. And this is why I rejected your ass. This is why you can't, ex you can't spin the block. This is why I'm ignoring you. And speaking of ignoring, my ancestors ain't ignoring your ass. This is insomnia, paranoia. I'm able to sleep because your ancestors is mind fucking them. Your ancestors is fucking them, mind fucking them for the fake smiles. Mind fucking them for the fucked up mirroring, mirroring energy that they put you in. Your, your ancestors is fucking them over because they fucked up your reputation and your life and not to mean your body putting you in third party situations with petri dish panty bras and bras that have drug abuse and manipulators. Oh, your ancestors is putting them in the energy where they're depleted. Their budget is depleted. Now they want to lurk you. Now they want to investigate and find out what's going on in your domicile. Now they want to act power hungry and abuse their power and control and act vulnerable. What happened to all that when you was getting your dick wet? And now that you don't want to agree to divine masculine and him try him spinning the block and trying to put you in the third party again, he giving you the evil eye. He giving you the evil eye because you standing in your power. He giving you the evil eye because of his bad choices. Damn you delusional. This is a mental patient. Really? This is a mental patient. You're delusional with me because of your bad choices and me standing up defending myself, defending myself from broken hardness. Excuse me, that don't even sound right. That don't sound right. They mad at you because they haunted by the behaviors that they made. They are mad at you because they all up in their head because they know that you fuck, they fucked you over and you ain't deserve what they gave you. They all up in their head because you pick money over love. They need to stop it, need to give it up. Their bullshit ain't working, it is weak as fuck. They need to stop it, need to give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Hold up. They want to put you in entanglements. You said, I'm done. No more obstacles. I'm sick of that shit. Yes. They want to put you in entanglements. They want to do all of this all over to you. But you say, my, my heart is not yours. We went there before that ship has sailed. We don't want to go there before you got caught up. I caught you with that comic. I have moved on. I know you're going to gaslight me again. You only want me back because I don't want you. You only want to come back because you broke it in a bag of glass in the trash. You only want, and it come out again. It come out again. It come out again. I will not put you in, put myself in the energy. Well, I will let you betray me again. I will not let you put me in the energy where there's all kinds of obstacles from you and your options. Who cares if you want me back? That's a you problem and that's not my problem.
Who cares that you know you fucked up? Oh, well, get over it. Who cares that you still hooked on me? Who cares? Get over it. Not my problem. It's not my problem. You created a problem for yourself when you went over there to this escort bitch that sell her ass. You made it a problem when this bitch started doing sex magic. You made it a problem when you started lying. You made it a problem when you started burning evidence and didn't think you was going to get caught. You made a, a, a problem when you was a not so divine masculine. You was a distorted masculine because this comes in reverse. Now divine masculine wants you to be quiet about the decisions that they made. They want you to be quiet because they peak picture dish panties. They want you to be quiet because they have mental health concerns. They don't want to talk about the shit talking they was doing about you. Oh, now they want to act like they got Alzheimer's because they in denial. Mm -mm. Stay in your lane, divine masculine. When you start switching lanes and thinking, then that's when you have problems. Yes. Please caution that person. Come over there to you. They only want to steal your energy. They want to come over there and reconcile with you so they can take from you. Please and caution come up again caution come up again so please caution this person don't want to come over here because they love you they only holding a grudge against you because they can no longer um put blames on you they can no longer why this damn caution come out listen our divine trying to tell you to stay the hell away this came up three times with three different ways caution caution Caution, stay away from that masculine. Do not go back. Our divine is saying, don't go back. They're going to cheat on you again. They're going to go out with mattress backs and do the same thing all over again. This is the mattress back call. They're going to do it again. They're going to pick a drama queen over you again. They're going to do it again. It's going to be all kinds of fussing and fighting and drama from this slick bitch. They're going to do it again. This one is not giving up. They want to step in the ring with you and fight you over a damn dick dealer. They want to step in the ring and fight you over a pill popper. You got to remember, this, this comic is not on your level. They will do anything to fight for a piece of dick. However, you are unbothered with the options. You are unbothered and you're running away from this bullshit. And they are all up in their feels about it. They're all up in their feels because they picked trash box Trina. And their world is falling apart because of it. Because of their insecurity. They need to take a reality check. Because you're unfazed, you're unbothered, and you're running away from this bullshit. Divine Feminine saying, stay over there with your thoughtful bitch. Stay over there with your thoughtful bitch. Continue to look for me and check for me. Don't check for me unless you got to check for me. Well, they've been checking for you, baby, because they all up and through your social media, honey. They know about your level up. This is why they want to come back. And this is why they're having mental health concerns with their own bipolar ass because they see you over there winning. They reflecting on how they fucked you over, but this came in reverse. They, they reflecting on the mind fuckery that they took you through. They are reflecting on the cheating and right after the cheating, cheating come out again. This is another one of them calls that show one of them compromising positions. But you can see her own. And she is doing her thing with somebody. But she got the phone in her hand anyway. Yes. Okay. Yes. This was the mattress back. But I'm going to put this right here. And we know this is the mattress back. Yeah. So. You would never put me in the energy where you leaving me for mattress backs. You would never put me in the energy where your mattress backs is doing Dollar Tree magic on me. So you stay over there with your addictions. Because remember, you ghosted me. 
I know I'm a strong female to put up with your shit. Because I seen the, flip, the red flags and I ignored them because I love you. I love you. Then you try to blame me for the button heads and asking you questions and things about that. Hmm. Then when I ask you things, you still lie. This is the lying to him about you. Lying. Then when I don't agree with your narrative, I'm Brugetta. Then you want to act envy towards me. But again, you cannot come back. You pick that shit. You pick that salt over sugar. And I said it. And I'll say it again. I had enough. I don't want to talk to you. You're in a relationship with someone else. Stand on that shit.